y'all good morning welcome to my channel plant-based storm and today i wanted to come on here and do a video about the top 10 tips from dr mcdougall's maximum weight loss of the starch solution Um, I have been doing the regular starch solution for um, almost a year now. So November 17th, 2020 will be my one year anniversary since transition. Well, I actually went cold turkey into a whole food plant-based diet. November 16th, I was eating your standard American diet. And on the 17th, I was 100% whole food plant-based. And I have remained that way up to this point and plan to do so um, until my one year anniversary. And I actually feel so much better that this has just become a lifestyle for me that I will be maintaining um, for the long haul. So... I am still losing weight and this is a uh, one thing that I like to share on this channel is my journey with you and to be transparent and truthful and honest with what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. So that's exactly what I'm going to talk about today. I have come to the decision that I need to tighten the reins a little bit more. I have been doing the regular starch solution um, and I'm going to incorporate some of the things from maximum weight loss. So I wanted to take this opportunity to go over. Um, the top 10 tips from Dr. McDougall. This information is free on his website. I'll add a link below in the description box so that you can read this for yourself if you're interested in it. If this is your first time hearing about the Start Solution, basically it is a lifestyle that is built around using starches for your main source of calories and energy and you usually build your plate like a 50 50 style plate where it's 50 percent starches and 50 percent non-starchy vegetables so your starches would be things like your whole grains your rice your pasta um, potatoes all of that yummy delicious stuff that we all love and then the other side is going to be your non-starchy vegetables like your green red yellow um, vegetables things like cabbage spinach um, lettuce of all kinds and your brussels sprouts broccoli um, peppers like bell peppers and you're going to do like mushrooms and just any kind of vegetable that does not have the bulk of its calories from starch and that is just the regular starch solution and you can have like whole grain breads as long as they are like not they don't have all of the non-compliant stuff in it and his program is totally free for anyone to try um on his website and i'll add his website below um so anyway, I have decided that I have pretty much hit a plateau. I have lost at this point over 75 pounds on the starch solution. 55 of those pounds were actually from the starch solution because I had lost 20 previous to starting. Step number one for maximum weight loss is to start each meal with a soup, a salad, or fruit and or one of each but anyway the point in doing that is so that you can fill up on calorie poor um, food that is full of nutrients so like if you have like a vegetable soup that doesn't have any fat or oil in it um, but is full of like I don't know say like zucchini and squash and tomato base it's full of a lot of different uh, fiber and nutrients, but very low in calories. So it sort of fills your stomach up before you actually sit down to eat the more calorie dense foods like the starches. Um, and the reason that this works, they say, is because we have stretch receptors in our stomachs and that we all generally eat the same amount of food um, about three to five pounds um, is average for any person. So if you eat, th say, three pounds of food per day and you're just eating the starchy stuff, then you're going to get way more calories in your diet than you're eating you know, two, one and a half pounds of your food coming from the non-starchy, low calorie density stuff. So it's really just a way to dilute your calories without 
feeling like you're not getting the same amount of food. You're getting the same amount of food on just a whole lot less calories. So the next tip, number two, is a 50-50 plate, which I explained earlier, and it is just the simple fact of filling your plate visually with 50% starches and 50% non-starchy vegetables, and that's as simple as it is. Every time that you fix your plate, it's recommended that you fill it that way so if you you can go back and get as many plates as you would like but whenever you fill it up do the 50 50 plate and it's a really easy visual way to know that you're eating in compliance with the maximum weight loss um, so that's one really easy tip tip number three is to greatly reduce or eliminate salts and sugars and the reason why is that it makes the food taste so much better that it makes you eat more so um, I do have not completely eliminated salt but I usually don't cook with salt we can't cook with salt because my husband's on a low sodium diet anyway so um, I don't cook with salt but we do sprinkle a little bit of salt like as a finishing before we eat it and that does greatly reduce the salt so that's something that we've already incorporated into our lifestyle so that's something that's pretty easy to do if you start to um, cut back on salt and sugar number four is to eliminate all animal products something that i have already done in my lifestyle decision because i have been following the regular starch solution and that is something that goes along with that anyway um, if this is something that is a new concept to you and it's something that you're wanting to try and you haven't been whole food plant-based, you could do something as simple as including a meatless Monday into your weekly meals and you can always um, expand on that. <clears throat> if it feels like it's too hard for you to give that up totally or completely or a lot of times like you could look up like I don't know if you've ever heard of the blue zones you can look that up um, that is about places in the world that have the most centurions that live there are people that are over a hundred and they have a lot of similarities uh, as far as how they live their life that it's not just food related but one thing that they do is use animal products as a condiment so they may have like a little piece of meat instead of having like the meat as the main big portion of the plate so if it's something that you're interested in that may be an option for you to try out as well as you try to tailor your way to a whole food plant-based diet number five for maximum weight loss is to eliminate nuts seeds and avocados so basically a lot of the higher fat plant foods so um I have been incorporating the higher fat plant foods in my diet up until now. Go ahead and eliminate, um, for the most part, the uh, nuts, seeds, and avocado. I'm not saying that every single meal that I have from here on out is going to be maximum weight loss. And I'm only going to use this as a small, uh, this is not going to be a permanent change in my lifestyle. This is just going to... Um, I'm just going to narrow what I'm eating for a little while till I get the rest of the weight off that I want to get off and then I'm going to go into maintenance and bring some things back into my lifestyle. So I am going to be eliminating nuts, seeds, and avocado like I said for the most part. But number six is to eliminate all or any oils in your diet which is something that I have done. Um, you have to be really careful if you are eating any kind of pre-packaged foods because it tends to sneak in there under the radar quite easily and you don't even realize it but one thing that I like to do is water saute veggies or I use broth to cook with there is a lot of information out there on why you would want to go oil free and as a matter of fact I have a video I will link above that is the case for no oil um, and you can check that out and it's got some information and resources that you can look up um, in the description box of that video as to why you would want to eliminate oil. It's also on Dr. McDougall's website, which like I said, I'm going to link below so that you can read all about that if it's something that you choose to do. But it eliminates a lot of extra calories that you don't even have to worry about um, getting into your diet. So that is why that is on there. And plus, it is simply not a whole food because it is part of what a whole food once was. It is just a fraction of that whole food. Number seven is 
is going to be to eliminate all higher calorie foods, even if they are compliant, like breads, muffins, and yes, that means flowers as well, cookies and popcorn and even dried fruit. Um, because whenever you take the water out of dried fruit, then that means that you have concentrated the calories. So like you could probably eat like a couple big apples and then have the same amount of calories and a handful of dried apples. So it's a lot harder to eat a couple big apples than it is a handful of dried apples and to eliminate those foods for it now like I said this is not going to be a permanent lifestyle change this is just kind of like tightening the reins so that I can finish and get through this weight loss phase tip number eight is not to drink your calories and this is something that a lot of people may not think about especially whenever they're switching over to a healthy lifestyle but it is amazing how fast your calories can add up in a uh, drink I mean like he's talking about don't use juices and that's sort of the same concept that I just talked about with the apples is that the juice um, has lost its fiber and um, so you're still getting a concentrated amount of calories because you don't have the bulk of the fiber to break up the calories and you can eat a whole apple and get a lot fuller than you can a small glass of apple juice and it takes so many apples to make that small glass of apple juice that you're getting a ton of calories in such a small serving and that just truly doesn't fill you up so then you're going to end up eating more calories because it goes back to that three to five pounds per person your stretch receptors are not getting they're not registering that you've had that many calories because it doesn't seem like there's any food in your tummy number nine is going to be to eat when hungry and to stop when comfortably full and I've heard a lot of people talk about this and while yes it is true that you just like go eat whenever you want to and this is important because the food, if you follow these principles, the foods that you're eating are so low in calories that you need the bulk and extra food in your diet so that you can maintain your um, caloric needs as well. You actually need to eat when you're hungry whenever you do the maximum weight loss, but that also can mean the opposite. And I don't hear a lot of people talk about that, but don't eat when you're not hungry. So it's just common sense. Like if you're trying to lose weight and your body's just not hungry and you see so like you wake up in the morning and you're just eating breakfast because that's like the conventional time to eat breakfast, but you're not actually hungry, then don't eat and wait until you're truly hungry to eat. And if you are truly hungry, say you had lunch and it's not dinner time yet and you're hungry in between, then go ahead and eat. And what I'm gonna plan on doing is instead of snacking like on the traditional snacks, because that's obviously out, you know, like crackers and all of those kinds of things are out since I'm going to be doing maximum weight loss is I'm going to incorporate mini meals and there's nothing wrong with like having an actual smaller meal in between the two lunch and dinner to help get you through because the calorie density is so low and I have another video we can talk you can look up about calorie density and how it works and why it works and I'll also link that above here calorie density is so low it's not going to matter if you have this mini meal in between so that is tip number nine is to eat when you're hungry and stop when you're comfortably full but always remember that it does say to eat when you're hungry. So if you're not hungry, don't eat. Tip number 10 is something I'm also going to be adding into my new lifestyle for the time being. And it's going to be to exercise 30 minutes a day. And it says to moderately exercise. This could be something as simple as a brisk walk for 30 minutes a day, which is pretty doable. And it's a gift to yourself to get your body moving and um, it may be a chance that you have to clear your mind for the day. And so I hope that you try to make time for yourself. Like I'm going to try to make time for myself and exercise for 30 minutes a day. I love this tip because I think that it's practical and it's not anything that it's overboard. Um, so yeah, this is Dr. McDougall's top 10 tips for maximum weight loss. And I'm going to be incorporating this into my lifestyle for the foreseeable future. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be doing this. And like I said, it's not going to be 100% 24-7. Um, there may be occasional meal like 
once a week or once a month where it's not 100% maximum weight loss, but for the most part, I'm going to follow these principles. And I'm also planning on giving an update on my actual weight loss, either October or at my one year mark. I haven't decided which it's going to be. Let me know in the comments below what you think I should do if I should go ahead and reveal my weight loss um, in October or if I should reveal my weight loss um, at my one year anniversary. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks so much for watching.